no time. Uh, <laughs> each day uh, in the month of March for Women's History Month, we're featuring the phenomenal and successful women impacting our area. Sounds good to me. And beginning tomorrow night, the Triad Stage in Greensboro will premiere their theater production that features an all-female cast of talented women from the Piedmont Triad. Joining us now to tell us more, let's say good morning to Sarah Hankins, the Artistic Director for Triad Stage. Glad to see you, Sarah. Good morning. So wonderful to be here. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. So first, tell us what is the Revolutionist? That's the name of the production, right? What is it about? Yes. So the Revolutionist is a fierce, fast comedy featuring four women from the Reign of Terror, from the French Revolution, as they all attempt to survive the revolution, the Reign of Terror, and escape the guillotine. And so these four women uh, are are banding together um, to try to figure out how to live. And so we feature Marie Antoinette, of course, um, Charlotte Corday, the famous assassin that killed Marat, a real life figure in Olympe de Gouges, who was a playwright from the time period, and then Marianne Angel, who is a Haitian revolutionary coming to France as a spy to uh, fight against um, the French. So it's a really fun, fast comedy and with, with a lot of ideas about feminism, uh, activism, and whose story gets told. Mm. It's almost hard to believe this is a comedy the way yes. you described it, Sarah. That's great. Uh, what inspired you to produce this? Well, we have instituted this new uh, initiative at Triad Stage called the Community Reading Group. And so we assemble a group of patrons, board members, staff members, um, students and artists from the area, and they read scripts that we have selected for uh, perusal. And then they choose one that they think that we should produce in the next year. So our community reading group last year in January of 2021, uh, 2022 was busy reading scripts and this was their absolute favorite. So they were super excited about how funny and strong Wrong it is, how it combines drama and comedy so well, and uh, they loved the characters. So we've done this already for season uh, 21 that's upcoming, um, but if you want to be a part of community reading group for season 22, we'll be opening up slots available for that in summer this year. Oh, okay, good to know. And Sarah, tell us about the cast. I mean, you mentioned them. What has it been like working with these ladies and really preparing for yeah. the premiere tomorrow? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they are ridiculous. They are so funny that oftentimes we're in rehearsal and they'll just start cracking each other up. And it's been a struggle <laughs> to keep it together some days. Uh, and then they make, they'll turn on a dime and make us cry. It's, it's wow. a beautiful, heartwarming kind of like, what are, what is true sisterhood? And so these women are showing it through the ways that they show up for each other, both in laughter and in tears. I have to admit, I, I haven't worked with a cast this talented and this um, this kind of cohesive in such a long time. They really love each other and love what they're doing. Sarah, this really sounds like a must-see production, the mm -hmm. way you're talking about it. But I did have one question about uh, wearing my parent hat for a second. Is this family friendly? Can the whole family come and see this? We have this slated as a PG-13, so okay. high school and up mostly for language and the fact that you know it's the french revolution there's a lot of guillotine <laughs> right right <laughs> right so you know we we do use caution for parents with language and violence um but i would say that this is a perfect date night and of course a gal's night out we've got women and mm -hmm. wine on the mind come on with your gal pals and you That's premiere awesome. tomorrow but is how long is this going on for sarah Yes, so tomorrow we preview uh, for the 14th, we open on the 17th, and we run all the way until April 2nd. But I'm going to tell you, if you miss this one, you're going to be very sad. It's going to be a, a, a sleeper hit, like a word of mouth hit. And um, if you want to get tickets, I would say get them now. Okay, yeah, okay. that's good to know. That's why we're having you on our show to tell everyone about it. Quickly, before we say goodbye, one thing you hope audiences will enjoy most and take away with them. Oh, I think that, you know, as long as they come away with a sense of having taken a journey with us, that's what's so, so exciting and important. If we can, if we can inspire uh, a little bit of passion and hope for the future, uh, that's what we look for. And the name of the theater tomorrow night in Greensboro where you will premiere, Sarah? Yes, Triad Stage. We are right downtown in Greensboro, and we look forward to having you with us. It has been a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you so much, and good luck, too. I know it will be a successful run of the production. Once again, South Elm Street in Greensboro. And for a full list of those show times and dates, head to triadstage.org. All righty. That sounds fun.